Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing a foreigner who overstayed his visa here in Thailand has been arrested, and it appears to have been a three-day over or three-year overstay. Thought of making this video after reading a recent article from the Phuket News. That's thephuketnews.com. Article is titled "Swedish Man Arrested for Almost Three Years of Overstay." Quoting directly. Officers from the Phuket branches of the Tourist Police Bureau and Immigration Bureau have arrested a Swedish national following complaints from neighbors regarding violent behavior, including threats and property damage. Quoting further, the Swedish man was then escorted to the Phuket Immigration Office for an identity check, which revealed that his permission to stay had expired almost three years ago. Additionally, police officers discovered that he was wanted in connection with a case involving property damage from a traffic accident. So. This is almost kind of one of these sort of foreigners behaving badly type of videos, but I thought of making it mostly to get into the, the whole issue of overstay. Honestly, folks, this is one of those things that snowballs, it metastasizes if you do not sort out your visa status. And even if you go into a mild overstay, generally speaking, if you're, only, if you're under 90 days of overstay, it's going to be a fine. Yeah, you're going to get scrutinized when you come back through immigration later on, probably. But at the end of the day, you're probably not going to end up banned from Thailand or effectively banned from Thailand. This person here who's been arrested in country is definitely going to end up with a five-year ban because they were arrested in country and found on overstay. We've discussed that before. If you're arrested in country on an overstay, even a one-day overstay, you end up with a five-year ban regardless. Now, there appears to be some other underlying possible criminal allegations and perhaps if adjudicated guilty regarding those matters, this person could actually see themselves banned for an even longer period of time than five years, possibly a lifetime ban, depending on the circumstances. So the reason for the video is just to reiterate yet again, when stay on top of your visa, you know, sort of deal with it early and often, just get it sorted out. Even if you end up in a small overstay, sort it, leave, pay the fine, keep yourself as much in status as possible, because again, these things have a tendency to build up and do you really want to be walking around Thailand having a duck and cover every time you know you see somebody in a uniform or something? No, it's not a pleasant experience, I imagine. It's probably not a good, you know, it's not a particularly pleasant way to live your life. So for that reason, it's definitely a good idea to go ahead and keep yourself in status to as much of a degree as you possibly can.